In this video, we'll talk about incorporating mindfulness into yoga. Like mindfulness and meditation, yoga is a popular practice that is enjoying wide acceptance and rave reviews in the West. It has improved the experience and quality of life of many people, and its popularity isn't likely to reduce anytime soon. Some people are contemplating choosing between yoga and mindfulness. However, they aren't mutually exclusive. You can combine both to tremendous effect. The tips in this section will help you in this regard. Leveraging the four contact points. What you do with your hands and legs during a yoga stretch goes a long way in determining the quality of the practice. Therefore, you should ensure that you pay attention to what is happening to them all through the activity. For example, when practicing hand walking meditation, you can introduce mindfulness training into it by paying attention to what is happening to them. The hand walking meditation requires placing your right hand on the floor while in a kneeling position. Then put the left hand on the floor. In your attempt to walk forward, start with your right hand a little bit forward, and then your left hand should follow suit. Finding balance on all fours. Finding balance on all fours. Right hand, right knee, left hand, and left knee is a crucial technique in yoga that ensures that your weight is evenly distributed to put you in a position where you will feel at ease. So it's something you should learn to put yourself in a relaxed, tension-free position. The mindfulness of this practice is when you take your time to observe how your weight is shifting onto your hands as you move forward during the activity as you move forward. Move around by shifting your weight to the right hand and right knee. After that, shift it to your left hand and left knee. Then move it forward and back before you settle into an equal weight on all fours. Cow Technique The cow pose is named that way because it will make you assume a position that is often common among cows. It is often combined with the cat pose for stronger impact, as you might have noticed in the last chapter. Still, it can be practiced along to bring calmness to your body and the much needed focus to your mind. This pose involves lifting up your seat and your chest on an inhaling breath while you drop your spine toward the earth and into your belly at the same time. This simple technique can improve your flexibility and make you more relaxed both physically and mentally. So don't take it for granted just because it's not challenging. Cat Pose Due to the similarities between the cat and cow poses, they are often combined. However, each can be practiced separately to enjoy the benefits of each. Besides, the cat pose requires more movement and technicalities in comparison with the cow movement. Besides, the former reverses some of the processes of the latter. For example, instead of inhaling, you will exhale. While reversing the curve, lift your waist and drop your tail and head. Repeat this move up to three or four times. While repeating it, move with the breath five to ten times. Your spine will curve one way and round the other way during this move. Go slowly and try to feel every part of the changes. Rising up, hand walking meditation, cat pose, and cow pose all require that you stay on the ground. So it's inevitable that you'll have to stand up at some point. Still, it shouldn't be something you should do in a hurry. You can do it mindfully to take advantage of the moment to train your mind to be present. When standing up, step back your right hand. Then do the same for your left hand. After that, shift onto your feet and rise up. It is natural that your physical sensations will be changing as you go through this process. Be fully present in the moment by paying attention to these altering feelings. This discipline can translate into the way you handle other activities. Shoulder rotation. Shoulder rotation involves extending your arms out wide to the side. Then inhale and roll your arms in such a way that your palms will face up. Exhale and roll your arms in while putting your arms back. Let the action start from the shoulders. When you are doing it correctly, your pinky fingers will be the last part you'll roll up and down. This movement puts a certain level of strain on your shoulder and arm. Don't miss the opportunity to pay attention to the way you feel because this is one of the main essences of the movement. Side bends. To practice side bends, inhale as you put your arms up, then bend to the right. After that, bend to the left while inhaling and exhaling. Inhale when you put your arms up, but exhale when you bend. A crucial part of this movement is paying attention to your body as you move from side to side. You should also pay attention to the position of your head all through the routine. Observing such seemingly minute details will eventually help you when you are involved in other things. Chair Posture The chair pose is one of the best ways you can discover your thought pattern. Meanwhile, you'll find it easier to control your mind when you have a good grasp of how your thoughts drift from one place to the other. It involves the combination of two moves at the same time. Begin by inhaling while your arms are up before bending your knees into a chair pose. If you find your mind drifting away at this point, don't fight it. Gently bring it back to focus on what you're doing. Leg bends. 
This move involves standing on your left leg with your right leg bent while exhaling. Then go back to the chair pose and repeat on the other side. It's best if you go right and left up to five to 10 times. This movement prepares you for the final stage of this practice. Stand quietly. While doing the leg bend, it's natural that you feel tempted to stand up quickly. However, an abrupt end to the activity isn't the best way to draw a curtain on it. A rush towards the end can throw you off balance and take away the feeling of inner peace and calmness that you've been experiencing since the beginning of the routine. To bring an end to this activity, keep your eyes open while remaining still. Observe whatever you are looking at with keen interest. Feeling your environment and your feet on the floor. Also pay attention to your breath as it moves. Note, the arrangement of the moves in this section is deliberate because they are sequential. Feel free to repeat it and practice it as often as possible. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.